In this video, we are going to solve an equation when given an absolute value. Let's take a look at our first problem. We have six times the absolute value of one minus two X minus eight is equal to 10. So we're just going to bring eight over to the other side of the equation. So we have six times one minus two X is equal to 18. And now we're going to divide both sides by six. So we get the absolute value of one minus two X is equal to 18 divided by six. Then we have one minus two X all in the absolute value and 18 divided by six is three. So now here is the trick when it comes to the absolute value. So what you want to do is you want to set what's inside of the absolute value equal to the positive value and also equal to the negative value of what is on the right side of the equation. So we're going to say one minus two X is equal to three or one minus two X is equal to negative three. And then we just solve as usual. So subtracting one from both sides, we get negative two X is equal to two, which means we have X is equal to negative one. And over here, we subtract one from both sides again. So we get negative two X is equal to negative four, which means we get X is equal to two. Okay, and that is how you do the first problem. Now let's look at our second problem. We are going to apply the same rule. So we're going to say four minus three X is equal to X plus one or four minus three X is equal to negative X plus one. So we're just going to solve. So let's solve the first one first. We get, if we subtract four from both sides, we get negative three X is equal to X minus three. And if I subtract X from both sides, we get negative four X is equal to negative three, which means we get X is equal to three fourths. Now solving the second one, we get four minus three X is equal to negative X minus one. So I basically just distributed the negative sign. So if I subtract four from both sides, we get negative three X is equal to negative X minus five. And if I add X to both sides, we get negative two X is equal to negative five. And if we divide both sides by two, we get X is equal to five halves. Okay, and that is how you do the second problem. Now let's look at our last problem. The rules still apply. So I am going to take three X minus two is equal to six X plus seven or 3x minus 2 is equal to negative 6x plus 7. So I am going to solve the first one. We get negative 2 is equal to 3x plus 7. And if I subtract 7 from both sides, we get negative 9 is equal to 3x. And if I divide both sides by 3, we get negative 3 is equal to X. Okay, and that's for the first one. Let us go ahead and compute the second one. So I'm just going to distribute the negative sign. So we get 3x minus 2 is equal to negative 6x minus 7. We get a 9x minus 2 is equal to negative 7. And if I add 2 to both sides, we get 9x is equal to a negative 5. And if I divide both sides by 9, we get x is equal to a negative 5 over 9. Okay, and that is how you solve equations when given an absolute value. Thanks so much for watching, and hey, you're awesome.